guys, welcome back. Today, we're gonna be cooking with Joey. Yes, welcome back. We are in the kitchen, it's fall time. The weather, the crispy weather has come. Pumpkins are out. Cozies. Um, red wine is, uh, is happening, apple picking, pumpkin picking, um, day drinking, wineries. We always day drink. Yeah. Sorry, my baby's crying. Angela? So we're gonna make two appetizers today. We're making one that's kind of low carb. It is healthy, it's very low carb. And one that's a fat girl special. But they're both delicious, they're both perfect for fall. And I got this all at Trader Joe's and it took me like two minutes to shop and it's gonna take maybe 10 minutes to cook. It's the easiest stuff ever. It's just putting stuff together. And what's kinda. the total that you spent on Trader Joe's? $28 for all this and it serves hundreds of people. Thousands. Thousands of people. And when it comes to like calories and stuff and fat, yep. it's not that bad, right? No, well this is this is one here, this is low carb option. So it's um, prosciutto, figs, blue, oh. blue cheese. And I had a, a make your own skewer from nature. Mother Nature made it. So, and then the second one we're gonna make is a crostini with ricotta cheese, um, roasted butternut squash, fried Ooh. sage leaves, and what is that? Pomegranate seeds. Oh, it smells so good. It's very, it's all in season stuff. It's super fresh, super yummy, and this is a crowd pleaser. Uh. Just serve a little red wine with this, Ooh. and throw this out, yes, and have a girls queen. night, have a guys night, have a kiki cocktail party. With your masks on, of course. We were supposed to test it for COVID um, before we got on set. So let's get started. The yeah. first thing you're gonna need is our skewers. So what I have here, this is a rosemary stem. I don't wanna have, I couldn't find skewers. So I, I have skewers here. I lost them. But we're doing nature skewers today. So what oh, you're gonna okay. do is you're gonna strip the rosemary stem. It's a woody stem. You're gonna strip this, and this is like a hard branch. Now you can use this to make your skewers of any kind you want, and you still get a little flavor and scent mm. from that. Can you, do, um, can you do the rest of these? I just rip it off? Yeah, but leave a little at the end for a flare. Okay. Then you're gonna wanna take your fig. Now if you've never tried a fig and only know fig newtons, these are a very fancy thing. They're I only, love fig newtons. They're only in season at the end of summer, beginning of fall. So when they're in season, they're in season right now, get them, they're delicious. Um, you can just eat them, you can put them with any appetizer. You're gonna like it. Put your fig on your rosemary skewer, like so. Then, you're gonna take your blue cheese. I just got this crumbled blue cheese. This is a little finicky because it crumbles, but oh. But if you squeeze it on, it'll stay. And then a little bit of prosciutto, mm. which is Italian ham, and that's it. And it's a cute little okay. one bite appetizer. And it's super, super flavorful. It's high. It's high end, so your, your friends what? will think you're rich. What's that? Because it's like, where are we from? Have a prosciutto. And then you just keep making them, and it's fun for the whole family. Now, I do gotta say, the blue cheese is gonna give me. Yeah, you have to be really careful because it breaks up so easily. So maybe choose a different cheese. <laughs> maybe what, like. What a, would you recommend? I would do maybe like a provolone a would be good. Or a parmesan, if you can um, find it. Or blue cheese will work, you just gotta make sure you're careful with it. I like the, the taste of the blue cheese with this, but it is crumbling, so I will say. <laughs> that's my bad. But it looks pretty. Very pretty. And it's gonna be delish. Um, and I can't wait to try this with you. Um, this is... Um, wait, am I gonna like figs? I think you like I'm, fig I'm newtons. I'm like a second grader. Well, it does have a weird texture too because you taste the seeds. It's kind of like little seeds. And it kind of looks like a snurb. Right it, it looks like a snurb a little bit. It does look like a snurb. They don't taste bad. It's just like a, a texture oh, thing. Good. But how cute. I'm gonna make a couple more of these and I'm gonna drizzle a little bit of clover honey on top of it. Because why not? We ain't driving. Do you okay. wanna make one more? Sure, I'll make one more. And look how quick this is. And you can do this with anything. These skewers, put anything on this. You can put, um, what else can you Moms, put? Moms, you can do this with the kids. Yeah. Super easy. The kids will love it, just to have something to do. And you're tasting a little bit of the um, rosemary in there. I'm a chef. Come on through. Oh, I just broke that. Well. <laughs> Everyone's like, great idea, guys. It keeps yeah. breaking. Sick idea. <laughs> Brajou, I can't reach. I'm sorry. I um, mean, if you don't okay. like brajou, if you don't eat pork, you can do this with you turkey like slices. Um, you can do this vegetables. You can do this oh, roasted. If you're vegan, roasted. Like, what, what, would, what would you do for the vegans? For vegans, I would put, for full, I would do like a, bread, a piece of butternut squash. I would put the fig, a butternut squash, and maybe. What else would I go on? 
I don't know. You tell me in You're the, the comments. You tell me in the comments. You could do roasted vegetables. You could do um, bread, like a piece of toast on there would be good. Like this? <laughs> yeah, let's do it. This is the vegan one. So you have bread, a fig, and that's it. <laughs> Next, I drizzle these with a little honey. So there it is, our quick, easy fall appetizer. Brigitto, figs, and blue cheese on rosemary skewers. Quick, easy, delish. You are gonna like what you see. Now, Susan and are gonna do a taste test. Okay. Let's try not to get um, it everywhere. I want this one. I want this one, I think. Wait, so how do you eat this? I mean, like a lady, you would probably like pick it apart and eat it, but I'm gonna take it like, um, to the head like I'm a cobra. Like all together? Mm-hmm. Oh, I oh can't, it is good. I can't put that all in my mouth. Mm. I'm gonna take like a bite. It's very good. The flavors, um, you have to do blue cheese. But I have to think of a way to like make it not fall apart. I know how. So this is really good. I know, let's wrap the cheese inside here. Guys, we're all doing this together, we're learning. Take the, take the um. All right, we're changing the recipe. We're changing it. Take the cheese, put it inside the prosciutto. Mm. Then take your fig. I'm glad you guys didn't leave without me fixing it. Watch. Yeah, the blue cheese makes it. The blue cheese makes it, and now it's stuck in the pocket. You guys, we're geniuses. I mean, so people are probably yelling at the screen. You're now you take it. Ear. They can't hear me, they're all the way at their house. You're yelling. It's not as elaborate, mm. but the taste is there. Now eat this one. It's the same thing. You don't that, have honey on it. Oh yeah. That fixed it right up. But, oh my um, God, you guys are so good. Or if you have a cheese that does. I didn't even know I like figs. If you do have a cheese that sticks <laughs> better, just use that. But if, you, if your cheese is crumbling, just hide it in the salami. Hide the salami. How yummy. Mmm. Next up, we have our crostini. You're gonna see right here. Um, we're gonna get that next. We're something a little bit carb heavy. Yes. But still delicious. Still delicious. Stay tuned after this commercial break. Okay, so next up, Joey has this really, really cute little crostini recipe. Look how cute. It has all the colors of fall, all the flavors of fall, and it could, it oh. could not be easier. So, first and foremost, what you're gonna wanna do is, and I did this off before because this is television. You're gonna take butternut squash, and you are going to put it in the, uh, you're gonna put this in a, in a pan, little cubed up pieces like this. You're gonna put olive oil, pumpkin pie spice, and salt. And you're gonna roast this at 350 until it's nice and tender. As you, as you see here, you get that going. Then you're gonna to really good. toast up some little, um, a baguette, slice a baguette and put that in the oven, toast up. Is this carbs? I don't think so. Mm. The, the bread is. This is the obvious thing. But butternut squash is, if you've never had it, it's like- it's delicious. A, it's like a low, low carb potato. It's kind of like a sweet potato, but not as starchy. Oh, I could eat the whole thing. Delicious, so you just take pumpkin pie spice, olive oil, salt and roast them and it tastes just like a <gasps> delicious pumpkin pie. So you already got the- There's a baby here. Oh my God. You already have the fall flavor. It's there, girl. And then you're gonna get some ricotta cheese. This is all from Whole Foods. Ricotta cheese, you're gonna get- Whole Foods or Trader Joe's? Oh, Trader Joe's, I'm sorry. And you're gonna get some pomegranate seeds. I had mine already done. And then you're gonna get some sage leaves and we're gonna fry this in oil so it gets nice and crunchy. And a little bit of honey from our last, uh, <laughs> last recipe. And this is gonna be so yummy, so delicious, so easy okay. to make. Snoopy, get in there. So we're gonna take a, a little dollop of daisy. That's a lot of ricotta. Okay. Ricotta cheese. Hot cheese, as we say in uh, New Jersey. Hot cheese. Then she's gonna take a little butternut squash. Ew. Stop, it's so cute. Some of these for color. It has all the full colors. It has a maroon, yes, orange, queen. green, and then I'm gonna take a sage leaf. You're gonna hate the sage leaf. What's the sage leaf do? It makes it pretty, and it gives a little bit of an herbaceous crunch. When Joey was, um, when he put these on the oven, my house smelled like I was clearing the spirits. So you're gonna get bad energy out of your house and you'll have a garnish. Clear. And How cute. Then you just take a little bit of honey because you want a little sweetness. Adorable. You can even do maple syrup if you want it to be real foolish. That'd be kind of fun. Um, that looks really pretty. And that's it, so we're gonna make a couple of these. This is something that kids can definitely help because it's kind of a messy thing. Um, oh. Well, there you go. Yeah, so it could not be easier. Wait till we taste these. And you can do anything with these. You can even take that, what I did there. You can do ricotta. I'll make that right now as an, an alternative. We'll do an option, let's say. You can do ricotta, ricotta, as we say, hot cheese. You know why they call it hot cheese? 
Why? Because it's made in a pot. You know how easy it is to make ricotta cheese? You just need milk, lemon juice, or vinegar, and that's it. Really? Yep. So I'm gonna do ricotta, a little brujou. Delicious. For scudo. Um, Ooh, I like that a one. Fig. Where are my figs though? Oh, my okay. mother-in-law would love this. This is another can one. Can we make some so I can bring it over to her? Yeah. She would Tell die. Her she would die. Where am I from? Take the prosciutto fig, ricotta cheese, and then um, a sage leaf. Mm, 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 mm. I'm gonna make my own. Let's create your own crostinis. Mm. I'll put this over there too. So this is another option. But I'm making my all, option. It's all fall all the time. I'm gonna make a blue cheese one. I'm having so much fun already. This is fun. All right, so I'm gonna do ricotta, and then I'm gonna do like prosciutto on hands. top. And then a little more ricotta so it's sticky. And then I'm gonna put the squash on top. Ooh! I just did um, prosciutto. I'm sorry, I just did blue cheese and fig on this one. Oh. Um, this is like a fall adventure. This is so much fun. We're I'm just missing the one. wine. I'm gonna make a vegetarian Look one. at that! Oh, these are vegetarian, because they can have cream. This is so cute. Oh! I know! Do you want a sage leaf? No, I don't want a sage okay. leaf. Um, I'm gonna do a little blue cheese crumble. Oh my god. <gasps> How this fun is, is this? Fun. Well, I have to. I have to get the kids, or I would. Oh my god! How cute! Oh, you had a blue cheese. You had a blue cheese. So basically, you could do whatever the f you want. It's a create, and it's gonna be amazing. Create your own crostini. This is hashtag, so fun. Use hashtag create your crostini for for ten percent off. Mm. For you, did you do this one already? You did that kind. I did. Well, you could do something else. Um, I didn't put a fig on mine. Um. You just, you're copying my design. Okay, I'm making two, oh, this is a double cheese. This is a cheese lovers. Oh, we forgot about these. I don't really like them. I only like them in my champagne. Well, this went haywire, but. Look at our options. We have so many options. This is the, this is the tried and true first ones we were supposed to do. The prosciutto, blue cheese and fig. That's how it's supposed to be, but then we made options. Yeah. And so you can't go wrong. All these flavors are all full all the time. I got all these ingredients at Trader Joe's for under $30. Mm -hmm. And we still have so much food. This can literally feed a party of 30 people. Yeah, for so, appetizers. If, so if you guys want to have like a nice fall cocktail hour, invite your friends over in the backyard. You can make all this for under $30. Make red wine, get some fall inspired cocktails. Oh my God, so make cute. Hot cider, uh, mold cider. Budget friendly and it's not that fat. Name. No. It's perfect for a party. You can put some um, spice mix nuts out with this, and that's all you need to do for a cocktail party. You don't need to get uh, yeah. all this food messing up the kitchen. This took us literally 10 minutes, and... And you could get pumpkins and put it on the table for, like, mm -hmm. decor. And wear a witch's, out, witch's hat. Yeah! <laughs> and put spells on people. I love this! Me too. Good, Good job, job, squirrel! Sissy. This is so much fun. So make all the creatures you want. Tell us on the list. <laughs> Start over. I'm sorry. He's hungover. <laughs> This is so exciting, you guys. Tell us your creaky creations yes. down in the comments of what you came up with. And uh, go back and forth in the comments and see, like, yeah. I use this, I like this. But have fun with it. You can't mess this up. This is all yummy food. It's all... I feel like we should always do this. Like, yeah. you always have, like, a general idea. A your own crustacean. And then we just keep going with stuff. Elaborating. We're, we, we roll with the times. When the cheese crumbles, you wrap it in brujou. Okay? Boom. I'm going to taste mine. I have brujou, I have squash, I have blue cheese, and ricotta. I'm going to taste mine. I have ricotta, pumpkins, I mean, butternut squash, Pomegranate seeds and a sage leaf with honey. Cheer. Cheers. It is so good. Mm. It tastes like fall and it's on a crostini. All the flavors. Fetch. Pumpkin spice appetizers. Mm. Imagine with a glass of wine. Yeah, I can't imagine. <gasps> a nice glass of Pinot Noir or Cabernet Sauvignon. Well, thank you so much. Thank you guys time. for watching. Comment below, like our video, subscribe, and we will be back soon with more creations for you. Happy fall, y'all. Take care.